Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday. <laughs> uh, and I'm doing the 23 non yarny things tag. I was tagged in a few times, so I thought I'd better hurry up do it <laughs> before it's like irrelevant. But, anyways, so let's go. Uh, so, basically, it's just what is your favorite, and then it's a whole bunch of stuff. So, I'm just gonna start with top. I got them written down here. Very fancy. <laughs> um, and yeah, I did tag similar to this. Uh, in January 2019 <laughs> I wrote it down but it's called uh, 10 non yarny things and then I did a bonus five so there's 15 really so I'm gonna link that down below if you want to check it out too and feel free to answer any of the questions on either video uh, just leave it in the comments or on the Facebook group because I like learning about everybody <laughs> and uh, as far as tagging I think most people's already done it but if you haven't done it and you want to go for it <laughs> but anyways so the first one is what is your favorite color my favorite color is pink <laughs> I love pink um, Pretty much anything. I love pink. Preferably, well, I don't know. I like like hot pink and baby pink. I'm not a big fan of like magenta, but um, bright hot pink, like crazy neon pink, and uh, baby pinks and just blushes and stuff like that. I like th those colors. <laughs> I also like blue and green together. Like um, I don't have my headphones in here, but I have some headphones that my sister wrapped for me in um, embroidery floss. And it's blue and green. It's really pretty. So, my favorite genre of music. Uh, that's kind of a hard one because I, I listen to a little bit of everything. I listen to pretty much everything, really. Um, but I guess my favorite genre that I listen to all the time and can listen to any time and not worry about it would be like classic rock. And to me, classic rock is definitely like a 60s <laughs> and um, 70s and 60s. I know the younger generations now are considering the 90s classic rock, which is kind of painful <laughs> to think about, but um, whatever. And of course, always Christmas music. I can listen to Christmas music all year round and be happy. My ear just kicked on. It's hot, so I'm not turning it off. Favorite food. I love all, all kinds of food. I'm a big food person. I'm a big snacker. But my favorite food that I could always eat and never get tired of it would be potatoes <laughs> any way shape or form you make a potato I, I will eat it and love it especially like a baked potato that's got everything on it I love that but uh, if it's a favorite type of food you know like Mexican or Italian or whatever I would probably just say country um, like home comfort food I love I'm a meat and potatoes kind of person and I love uh, like a steak and a baked potato or a pot roast and mashed potatoes or a meatloaf and some mashed potatoes or anything like that it's just I'm just southern living <laughs> but uh, okay next favorite soda my favorite soda is Dr. Pepper without a doubt I will drink pretty much most of them except I don't like uh, 7 up and I don't like mellow yellow but I will drink whatever people have but I prefer Dr. Pepper <laughs> favorite animal that's a hard one I love animals um I used to collect penguin things, but I guess right now my favorite animal are birds. I like watching the birds, <laughs> and I like bugs. Uh, favorite holiday? Okay, this is a hard one because I love, absolutely love Halloween and Christmas, and I can't decide which one I love more because I love them both so much. Oh, uh, I can't decide. It's just high between the two because they're both so fun with the kids. It's gonna be a new experience in you know years when I don't have my kids at home, but I love doing all the you know the, the trick or treats and stuff with the kids. The kid so far, <laughs> Jesse. Uh, June this year is gonna be fun, and Christmas is always fun. And I love the feeling of Christmas, and I love doing all the events and stuff. So I don't know. It's a tie between Halloween and Christmas. Uh, favorite book? I am not a big reader at all. I don't like in reading very much, but my favorite book that I have read a bunch of times and will always read a bunch of times is The Outsiders. I love that book. Uh, favorite pizza topping. I'm a meat person, <laughs> so I love um, my favorite pizza that I always order when we order pizza is pepperoni, bacon, and uh, Canadian bacon I used to get, but they don't really have that anymore. So now they just put ham on there, which I think is the same thing as Canadian bacon. But, um, so yeah, I always get pepperoni, ham, and bacon, and cheese, of course. Devin likes to put peppers and stuff on his part of the pizza, but, um, I just need cheese. Uh, favorite pastime that I'm assuming is not crocheting. Uh, I enjoy sewing. It's a lot of fun. I love, I enjoy hiking and being outside and stuff. Uh, I like playing video games, RPG ones. Um, 
I really love like Skyrim and Oblivion. That's about it. <laughs> uh, favorite TV series. Okay, this is hard because I love watching TV. That's one of my things I do all the time. Um, my number one favorite show that I, I could watch a million times and have watched tons of times would be Little House on the Prairie. That's my comfort show. If I'm ever sick or if I don't feel good or if I'm upset or depressed or something, uh, I could turn that on and binge watch it and it just perks me right up. <laughs> but I also love um, any ID channel show, any murder show. I love Golden Girls. I love Seventh Heaven. This shows I grew up watching. The Waltons, Stranger Things, uh, The Crown, Downton Abbey. I watched that a million times. Call the Midwife. Anything that's based in like the 1920s and be before. <laughs> um, yeah, I just love watching everything. <laughs> Favorite fruit, strawberries, and technically uh, cucumber. Because <laughs> cucumber is technically a fruit and I loved cucumber. Favorite veggie. I don't really like vegetables because I like cucumbers, but they're fruits technically. And I like potatoes, but they're not considered a vegetable. Uh, I guess Brussels sprouts. But like, I will never pick a Brussels sprout over a potato. <laughs> uh, favorite subject in school. My favorite subjects when I was in school was science and social studies. I could do those like all the time. Uh, I hated math because I wasn't that good at it. I was good enough to pass, obviously, but um, like I didn't enjoy it the way some people do. I hated language arts. I was so bad at that. I still have a hard time remembering the difference between uh, like adverbs and ad adjectives and all that. Um, and I don't think that's something you really need to know a lot about unless you're going into a career path. That's something that I keep telling people, young people in my life to know. Like, um, you know, some things you don't really need to know everything in the world about it because unless that's your career that you're choosing, your passion, you know, if it's your passion, you're gonna love it and do it anyways. But uh, kids stress out so much about school and about not doing good, and it's not really that important, especially the way the school system is done now. It's one reason why I'm going to homeschool Jesse. Uh, they put so much pressure on kids to do good, and then it's kind of pointless at the end of the day, unless you pick certain careers. And I live in a huge farming slash uh, manufacturing area. You either become a farmer, or you become a manufacturer in a factory, or there's a few people who get out and do bigger things. So I think it's unfair to put so much pressure on kids to do perfect just for them to not even put all the stress on kids to do perfect and they stress them out. And some kids get super stressed out of school uh, just for them to, for it not to be important in a year or two, if that makes sense. <laughs> I realize that's kind of, I don't know if a lot of people, because I know a lot of people put high marks on uh, book learning education, but I, I put higher marks on real life education. And that's why I want to homeschool Jesse and uh, June when she gets old enough because I don't want them to be so stressed out about learning the proper way to form a essay when they're gonna they might have a career in the future where they'll never have to do an essay you know um, so yeah but anyways that's just a tangent <laughs> I go almost all the time where was I favorite actor slash actress okay my favorite actor is probably Johnny Depp <laughs> because he's beautiful and he's a really good actor and he can sing and he can, you know, he can just do all the things. Um, I also really like Jerry Lewis, all of his old movies. Uh, an actress would be Kathy Bates and I think her name is Emma Thompson. The one that is on Sense and Sensibility and Nanny McPhee and all that. I think that's her name. But yeah, but Kathy Bates is like one of my favorite female actresses. Uh, she reminds me a whole lot of my mom when mom was younger and uh so i love watching her <laughs> favorite singer my patchwork sewing machine <laughs> i know it means like a musical singer but i listen to a ton of music but i don't like i don't follow bands uh closely when i was a teenager i did you know like i was a huge my chemical romance the used fan back then i still love them but not as much as i did back then um I listen to everything. I don't really have a favorite. I don't think. I can't think of anything. I like heart a lot. <laughs> I don't know. That's a hard one because I don't, like I said, I don't listen to like specific people. Like when I was a teenager, you know, I was obsessed with certain bands and I listen to them over and over. Now I just listen to all kinds of stuff. 
superhero. We don't really watch the superhero movies that much. Me and Devin did start the Avenger movies, watch them in chrono chronological order. So we started with um, Captain America, and then we watched Thor, and now we gotta watch something else. I can't remember. I have to look it up again. Um, but I guess I would say Batman, if he counts, he's not really a superhero. Because <laughs> um, I like those movies, the old ones, with like Michael Keaton in it and Val Kimmer. Um, I guess I'll go with that. Comedian. I don't watch any comedy. I guess Jim Carrey. Because I know he's, he does stand up. Or he did stand up. <laughs> so I guess Jim Carrey. I like Fluffy. I've seen some of his videos. Season is fall slash winter. I enjoy spring a lot. I really don't like summer at all. The best thing about summer is going swimming. Fourth of July. And yard selling is fun and uh yeah that's about all it's good in summer <laughs> watermelon i love watermelon uh i love fall because first it's the precursor to the best time of the year which is halloween and christmas and second it feels so good outside and in tennessee it's so pretty in fall and then winter i love because of christmas and it's fun you know it's like pretty to see the snow and stuff and i like spring because of growing stuff but i guess if i had to pick a favorite it would be fall or autumn Favorite movie? Ooh, I can sit here all day and talk about movies. I love movies. Um, my most favorite movies. I'm, I'm not picking one. I haven't picked one of any of these. June's like a hair. But I love Hook with Robin Williams in it. I love The Outsiders. Sense Sensibility. The one with Alan Rickman in it. Uh, Pride and Prejudice, the one that came out in 2005. I think. The one with Kara Knightley in it. Uh, Titanic, I could watch over and over again. Grease, I could watch over and over again and have. <laughs> I know that entire movie. Like, I could sit there, and I do. Uh, I don't know if this is annoying to Devin or not, but I'll sit there and I will talk the whole movie through with the people who's acting. Um, and singing, of course, I will sing. Uh, I love Encanto. I've been watching the heck out of that. Um, The Shining is one of my most favorite movies. I have a lot of favorite movies. Most of them are from like the 90s because when I was a kid and uh, you know, that's where I made all my core memories. <laughs> um, i trying to think. I guess that's about it. But I love movies. My favorite smell. Okay, my favorite smell is weird. <laughs> Don't makes fun of me all the time for it. But my favorite smell in the whole world is dirt. I love the way fresh dirt smells. And like if, I think it's come from growing up in a farming community. Um, during this time of the year when you're driving around and the tractors are out uh, turning soil over, getting ready to plant and stuff. It just smells so good. And when you're out in the garden working, I could just breathe it in. I just love it. I also love the way hay smells and the way mowing lawns smell. And the way it smells when it's raining and after it rains. I know. I'll get her in a minute. She's good until she starts crying. Um, yeah, so I like nature smells apparently. <laughs> But uh, my favorite smell is dirt. And also a core memory of mine of dirt is when I was a kid growing up, we lived in a mobile home. And then behind the mobile home was a building with a basement under it. So every time it stormed, we went, you know, we left the mobile home and went to that basement. And the basement was a dirt basement. <laughs> dirt walls, dirt floor. Well, no, the walls were concrete, like cinder blocks. And the, but the floor was dirt. And that's like a core memory of mine is being in that. We'd play board games and play with toys and stuff and Game Boys. <laughs> And, um, you know, my mom would be worrying about the weather and listening to the weather radio. And us three kids would be sitting over there in the corner underneath the stairs playing games and stuff. And it was just a lot of fun. So that's like a core memory of mine. And it's re related to dirt. But it has to be brown dirt, too, not red dirt. <laughs> and there's a difference. <laughs> but anyways. I hear you. She's happy. Uh, my best friend, just like most of us have said, is my husband. He's my best friend in the whole world. Probably Jesse. He's my second best friend. Um, but yeah, Devin is definitely my best friend. My favorite decade. This one I thought about because there's, I have different favorite decades. <laughs> my favorite decade for fashion and music would be like 1955 through 1965, but only for those two categories because it's obviously, it was a bad time for people who weren't white and it was a bad time for women. <laughs> but, um, music wise and clothing wise, that's like my favorite time. Uh, I love the way women dressed back then and I love the music from back then. Um, everything else pretty much was really bad. 
um, but my favorite decade for other reasons would probably be the one right now because I think it's fun because my kids are so little and I think this would be my favorite time to look back on in the future is when they were both little and we were doing all kinds of fun family things and um, yeah minus the whole 2020 stuff um, and the whole Russia stuff <laughs> uh, it's been a pretty good time so uh, that's that's probably my favorite decade for every reason other than clothes and music <laughs> and then the last one is my favorite YouTube channel oh lord this is another one where I could sit here all day and just read them off okay first of all look every crochet channel I'm subscribed to so many of them it's ridiculous I'll never be able to watch them all either I constantly have a watch later list that is just long and I empty it and then I, the next day it's fully done <laughs> but I also love all kinds of other channels too because I'm not just a crochet person um I like to cook so I follow a lot of cooking channels I can't think of their names right off the top of my head because I'm bad at that but if I could think about it I'll link a few below I'll do that at thing but um and I like watching family vlogging channels and I like watching gardening channels and I like watching channels about graveyards because I love graveyards um I like watching channels where people are like exploring abandoned houses one of my favorite ones used to be the carpetbagger because when he first started he explored a lot of abandoned houses and stuff and now he just does like attractions which is okay but uh it's kind of boring because most of the attractions that he does I've either been to because <laughs> he does a lot in like Gatlinburg and all that um, or they're just not interesting to me anymore but I do like to go back and watch his old videos even though I've seen them before uh, because I just it's just fun to watch people go through abandoned houses I don't know <laughs> but because um, I'm too scared to do it myself I'm always afraid that like an uh, animal will be in there or like a homeless person or like drug people <laughs> but it's fun to watch other people do it I'm gonna have to go get Sissy she's crying <gasps> Day's June she got the hiccups. Her little bruise from her being born is almost gone. You can still kind of see it on this eye. But it's definitely not as red as you see. You see yourself? Do you see yourself? You look pretty. I'm gonna set you down here, okay? Anyways, what was I talking about? YouTube channels? <laughs> uh, I like a lot of YouTube channels. I can't even think of any. It's like, it's one of those things where you get put on the spot and then you, you brain fart and you forget. But yeah, I watch, oh, one of my favorite, like, lifestyle ones is called Life's Little Things. I'll link her below. She lives in Texas, I'm pretty sure. And all she does is she just vlogs, like, her days and cooking and shopping and stuff like that. And I just like that. <laughs> um, I would actually like to have a channel like that, but my life is just not as exciting as some people's. Um, it would be a lot of just doing the same stuff every day vlogs. But uh, I used to love one called Miss Erica but she quit YouTube because of bullies. I hate bullies. <laughs> I hate that she let them get to her too. Ugh. But I used to love, like I religiously watched her. Her video, it popped up and I immediately went to watch it no matter what I was doing. Um, she lived in uh, Mobile, Alabama. And I miss her so much. I wonder what she's doing now. I miss Erica. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stupid bullies. I hate bullies. Bullies are buttheads, aren't they? But um, I don't care if someone bullies me. I usually just um, snarky to them or I just block them. Because <laughs> uh, I ain't got time to worry about bullies. I got too much other stuff to do. And then I see She woke up with the hiccups. That's so funny. But yeah, so I can't think of any more. Oh, my, my brain gets when I'm on the spot. Anyways, I'm still working on my little amigurumi. <laughs> it's got a little bit bigger. Can you guess what it is? It's going to be a Stitcher library, so it's a pattern that I've had in my library for a while, and uh, I'm slowly working on it. It's taking forever. I'm using a, I think a D hook. I think it's a, I think it's a D. It's a three millimeter. It might be an E. D. It's a D. Because <laughs> uh, an E hook is 3.5, so this would be a D, I think. I don't know. But anyways, I'm slowly working on it. It's getting there. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. I can't wait to get it done. But uh, let me know if you can, you let me know your guesses to what it might be. It's a person, obviously. <laughs> but uh, so far, all I've got is the legs and the underwear <laughs> uh, done. But that's okay. I'm working on it slowly but surely. 
There is some kind of weird bird outside. Do y'all hear that? Maybe that's a frog. It kind of sounds like a frog noise. Hmm. Or a squirrel? Just what kind of noise do squirrels make? I don't know. I have to YouTube it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm blabbing now. As per usual, I will link some people down below if I can remember like lots of little things and some of the cooking channels that I watch. Um, I'll scroll through my YouTube and see what other channels I watch because I'm spacing. I'm not going to link any crocheters down below because I don't want to accidentally leave someone out and then someone get mad at me and all that. But um, I watch almost all of them. I mean, Lord, there's a lot of us now. When I first started back in 2017, there weren't very many crocheters. There was a lot of knitters. And I actually watched a lot of knitting people before I found crochet channels. The first crochet channel I ever found, other than like the tutorial ones like Jada and all that, is a grackle. I think it's a grackle making that noise. I might have to Google the grackle. Anyways, I brain farted. The first crochet channel I ever started watching, uh, what is, do y'all hear that? Maybe, oh, I bet he's doing that mating dance. We saw two grackles the other day. I'm assuming a male and a female one. And the male one was like, doing weird feather things and <laughs> I thought Devin he's probably doing like a mating dance thing because a lot of birds do that. I bet that's what he's doing. I'll have to google it. Anyways what I was trying to say but I kept getting distracted by the dang birds is the first crocheting channel I started watching before uh, other than the tutorial channels which was like Bag of Day and um, cra uh, Crafty Grandma and uh, Jada and all that was the, cra the crocheting Whovian. Uh, she was the first um, like crochet vlogger that I ever watched and that was my first introduction into channels like this and then I found Margaret Olander who I absolutely worshipped at the time because she was like the top tier to me you know I didn't know anything about all the other channels um so I watched her videos religiously and um I watched her son grow up which was weird because now he's like in college <laughs> and when I first started watching her videos he was a little bit older you know he was older than jesse but still a child um so and, and it was because of her that i started making videos she did a giveaway i believe it was for dryer balls that were wool but she was doing a giveaway where you had to enter it by making a video talking about i think your stash i think is what it was about how you store your stash or something like that and um that's also how terry started me and terry both started our channels terry from our joint podcast did we both responded to uh her giveaway with a video and then we just started making videos after that so that's cool me and terry almost started around the same time i think it was june uh 2017 because jesse was just over a year old his birthday was in may that year every year <laughs> but his first birthday was in may um so it's, it's just crazy to me and then after after me and terry started um people started watching us and then i started seeing more and more people start making videos so it was cool and then people I've never found before. I'm still finding new channels that I've never heard of that have a lot of subscribers. And I'm like, how have I never heard of these people? <laughs> but, you know, it's just, it's a big world. And there's a lot of people in it. So, it's just cool. So, all of that to say, I watch a lot of crochet channels. <laughs> oh, Lord. I talk a lot, Cece. I know why I talk a lot. It's because almost, like, I'm, I don't know, 70-something percent of my time, I'm with kids. <laughs> you know, I see Devin before he goes to work and when he comes home from work and on the days he's off. And my sister and stuff occasionally and other people just occasionally but when I talk to you guys it's like I'm talking to more grown-ups I understand the things that I like instead of a baby and a six-year-old <laughs> so that's why I talk a lot but it's okay anyways I will leave the 23 questions down below and also the link to the other one I did a few years ago if you want to go check that one out um, and then feel free to answer them either on here or on the Facebook group or if you don't do either you can um, email me if you want to I don't care <laughs> and uh, I got some sewing to do I did a little bit sewing this morning quilting and then I got all kinds of bags that's gonna be coming out hopefully on Monday is my goal to get these out there's gonna be some little tote bags there's gonna be one drawstring bag <laughs> and some zipper bags and some of the zipper bags are gonna be small like this one yes it's small <laughs> bigger than notions pouch but smaller than like a project bag that's big <laughs> and I love this print and there's gonna be some all different sizes there's just a bunch i think there's 22 all together but anyways i'll show them better hopefully monday sometime or sunday whenever i get them done 
Um, but I'm gonna hop off here because now this video is getting really long and I gotta edit it because I messed up a few times and I had to go get Sissy who is now drooling all over my arm. <laughs> and um, I will see you guys in another video. So yeah, bye guys.